Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Conan Exiles. We are, we've, well we've just finished building that one. We've got this one here, we've got most of the other crafting benches. There is one more that we can build, but we need a few things for it. There's one more that we can build at the moment, and that's the blacksmith's bench there. We need 50 bricks and 100 iron bars, neither of which we currently have. So we're going to have to sort of look at that. The carpenter's bench over there got we've got the other ones as well um i'm also thinking of making one of these beds it'd be quite nice to have have a more comfortable bed uh we've got stygian beds we've got the, the simple folded bed that one right there a low divan made in the stygian style and that one as well and we've got a big double bed there nice comfortable one shaped wood you need for that uh so let's just have a look in this one right here so you've got the furnace here well, you can put that in. I'm assuming you can get clay and you can put in. That's how you make the bricks, because it wouldn't be stone. Stone doesn't seem to do it. But let's have a look on this one here. We've got the tannery. We've got bark there. Then you take the skins. Now, we've got some hide there. I'm going to put that in. And you press play, like that. And that starts using the... It burns the bark, because what it, the bark will burn really slowly. And it, it smokes it, and then that then becomes the leather. I'm not sure how many pieces we need to make leather. So there's a look. We've got five there. It doesn't have any more on here, so I'm assuming that we don't we, we don't get very many. Ah, right, three. Oh, we get tar as well. Okay, that's, that's a useful thing. I don't know what it's going to be useful for, but I'm sure it's a useful thing. Now, apparently this purge malarkey thing that happens on a regular basis here is another thing that we're going to have to be careful of because you get a whole load of NPC people come along and attack your house. And I'm not sure I want them to, quite frankly. Let's put all of that in there. So that's going to... Oh, no, hang on. i got to um, press play. That's going to start making some leather for us. That'll work through. I don't know how much it's going to make with the materials that we've got in there. Um, the purge. Now, I'm not... Uh, your throat feels dry. Oh, yes, I suppose it does, really. Let's, let's have a bit of a drink. There we go. Another drink as well. And I need to keep eating insects so that I regenerate my health. I also want to go to my fire over here. I've got some meat. I've got some grilled steak. And we'll put those in. And then I can do that one. That one can keep going. And then I can have the food. Except that I'm already at full whack. Oh! Okay, eating the good food. That does better. So I need to block an attack. I need to use a skinning knife to skin an animal. And I need to equip a piece of light armor. Now, a, a blocking attacks is actually uh, pressing the control button, but it doesn't seem to do anything with this one. It, it, it seems to do that. Left control. It just kicks when I'm holding this one. So I'm wondering if I need to make the other weapon, which was the sword. There was a sword here somewhere, wasn't there? Yes, there we go, stone sword. And I can actually make that. So if I make that one a minute, maybe we'll go and pick a fight with something with that one, and we'll see if we can do something with that. And I want to look for some other bits and pieces, like some stone and stuff. Now, we've got that big nasty creature over there. Let me keep eating some of these insects. This one here is not going to attack me. It doesn't have, like, the red all over it. There we go. I've got a... I've got a sword. Stone sword. I'm going to put that instead of the axe for a minute. There. Now, what happens if I... <clears throat> it still does that. Can I... I can't equip both of them, I don't think. Offhand block, left control. Now, if I have a look in here, am I, am I able to... No, no. You, it, it, right, purge meter there. That goes all the way up to here. So the more stuff you do, the more likely you are to have a purge occur. And that's what we got to look out for. So we we got to be aware that that could happen at any point. So let me just regenerate a little bit more with some insects and then we can attack this one and we'll see if we can get that block and attack i might actually have to make a shield for that to work because there is a, there is an option here for a shield somewhere unless that's elsewhere wooden door no it's not wooden door uh it was an option for a shield oh maybe that's in one of the other we got stretch hide right there I, oh i need thick hides okay uh now i've got a couple of these here i want to get the right one I don't want others to attack while I'm attacking this. There we go. Run away. Run over here. I don't know how good this is going to be. 
I hit him once. Oh, there he is. Go on. Go on. Like that. And he's going to do that. That's his big move. So what I want to do is I want to do this. And then I want to do that. There. Yeah, that's not blocking. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, I, I really want... I didn't want to do that. Uh, oh, that stabs. Uh, but blocking doesn't seem... Blocking doesn't seem to actually do anything. Even if I... There. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay, so blo blocking definitely isn't isn't working very well. Ah, no, 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 no. Let's 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 uh, let's do this a minute, and then switch weapons, and then do that, and do that, and jump away, and eat a bug, regenerate a little bit, and eat another bug. So I'm regenerating a bit. He's regenerating as well. Ah! Oh no 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 no! Oh! Oh, that was close. Okay, a sword is not what you want to go up against this thing with. You need the crushing value of the other one. So let me do that. That might regenerate a bit more than just the insects. Uh, I think it does, actually. Well, that regenerates quite a bit. The insects are good, though. Okay, I press... Okay, so there's nothing I can loot on there. Now, skinning knife. Can I make a skinning knife? I've got a rawhide bedroll. Weapons there. It's not under weapons. I haven't had... I've, I've not got a recipe for a skinning knife yet. Right, so we're going to have to stick with the, the axe. The sword is not very good against these things. So it's, it, we need to be able to crush them rather than anything else. So I want the hatchet so I can get bone from this. Let me get that. So i got... Oh, i got 20 hides. That's all right. That's, that's a good start. Uh, we'll take that. Right, let's not attack one of those things again until we've got back to full health because it, it doesn't seem to be very beneficial to us. It's, it's, it does not seem to be a good idea. And we can put those 20 hides in there. Let's play on that. And then we take these out of here. I quite like the fact that even though we our gathering rates are higher, things like that, we're not getting like times five from them. So we're not we're not getting excessive amounts from things like that one. If I eat a couple of those together, does that change it? Uh, now, what have I got? I've got leather right here. Am I able to do anything with this leather? Sandstone ceiling, royal gauntlets. I have leather. I need iron bars, medium gauntlet lining. Where do I get the lining from? Of course, hand wraps. No. Oh. Right, well, if I go to armor here, this puts it all on the top, and I, I need the linings. I'm guessing those are from maybe the crafting stations. Let's go and have a look at the crafting stations in here. And at the moment, we don't need to be eating this. So we're going to put the cooked human flesh and the, the plain human flesh. It's all going to go in there, and we're not going to eat that again. We're not going to have anything to do with that for a while. Now, that's... Oh, no. No. Uh, we, we need to put that in the box. We, we don't want that. And then we've got the iron in there. i got some stone I'm going to put in there as well. i got some bones there, which will be useful at some point, but uh, not right now. Shredded roast. I'll eat that in a minute. The next thing I eat, aloe seeds. Hold on to those. Uh, now, artisan's work table and armorer's workbench. This is the one that we want. Right. Ah, lining. So I had heavy gauntlet lining. I it was It wasn't the heavy. It was a light boot, light gauntlets there. They need light gloves lining. So that is materials, consumable, building item, weapons. No. And then you've got armor and materials here. Goes to those consumable this would be heavy pauldron heavy legging light boot lining light gloves lining there right i need oh i need hides for that oh that's great yeah wonderful that's just that's just wonderful armor here heavy boot linings and then we go to light gauntlets there so i need two light gloves linings for that one light boots need the same and they all need hides i'm making leather if I'm making... So we've got heavy, medium. Here we go. That needs leather. And then the... What about the heavy stuff? Where's, where's the heavy? Medium, medium, mediums. Heavy, Sabaton's there. Heavy boot lining, that requires leather. And then the actual heavy boot lining there, that requires... Oh, thick leather. Right, now I'm with you. So heavy armor requires thick leather. Light armor requires hides and medium leather... Uh, medium armor requires the just the plain leather so that's the one that we're going to go for medium tacit right there 
uh, medium legging lining. I need six leather for that. And I have six leather. And we got twine there. I made a load of twine. Uh, medium gauntlets, medium harness. So I want a medium legging lining so that then I can make... Ha can I search at... M no. Let's try medium. If I try searching it like that. There we go. That makes it a lot easier. Medium gauntlets, medium harness. I need medium chest padding for that. Medium and medium. Ah, there we go. I, I've got the rest of them now. Brilliant. Uh, medium chest padding. Medium boot lining. So we want medium boots. Ooh, iron bars and leather and, and then those. And then these here, that, that requires the leather. So I, I've, I've got some leather. That's a good start. So we can craft two of those, which I need for that. Yeah, and craft again. And then the medium cap, I require the medium helmet padding, which is that one, and four leather, so we can do that there. Then the medium chest padding is required for medium harness, requires one medium chest padding. I do not have eight leather and five twine. I'm missing the leather on this one. I think I'm missing all the rest of the leather. Medium gauntlet lining, I can do two of those. So medium gauntlets over there, I do indeed need two of these. We can go one, and we can go two. I think that's about it, to be honest. Medium legging linings, medium harness. Yeah. Right. We've, we've reached our limit now on the leather. So we'll leave that one crafting in there. We need some more leather. But we're also going to need some iron. Now, I was told that one place I could look is... Well, I, well one thing I should do is try looking under the water. Now, there's people over there. We've seen people before, and they weren't very friendly. There was a person over there, and he wasn't very friendly. And I'm still considering whether or not I should even set up a base camp here. Now, I've had a look at a, a big old map, and this area here is kind of like the starting area. All this down here, and around, just around the river, just here, is the easy zone. Then this here is the medium zone, up to, a, well, just along this top level up here. And then the hard zone is all this up here. So you need tier 3 stuff to go up there, really. Uh, you want tier 2 stuff to go in here. So if I was to put my fortress on the border between the two zones, I quite like the idea of going up and putting it up there. But I'm not sure if that's going to be a good idea or not. Um, so we'll have a little look around. Let's eat a bit more. I do need to have a drink. Let me have a drink as well. We come over here and then I can... Five, that will fill that one up. And I can fill my water all the way up to the very brim. And I can also make sure that I've got that. I love the fact that we've got the um, time going really quick at night. That certainly makes life a lot easier for us. So let's um, eat another one of those. Now, these people over here are apparently not very friendly. I just took an arrow. Well, I was going to say I took an arrow to the knee, but that's... that's um, oh! Well, that wasn't very nice. Uh, uh, well, go, 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 in here. Go away from the, the person with the arrows. Okay, these, these are not very nice people. They're really not very nice. No! Um, go, 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 go. Uh, no, 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 not that one. There, roll. Roll, 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 roll. Just just keep going. Look look at me. I'm, I'm nearly dead, and I'm, uh, look, I'm looking like a pincushion. Go in here. Go, 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 go. Close the door. Am I safe in here? <laughs> Looking like a pin cushion. I probably shouldn't have taken those on. I need bandages. I need armor. Before I start doing anything stupid like this again, I need armor. I can hear them out there. Are they attacking my house? Or are they running away? I think they're just kind of scurrying around my, my the outside of my house. I think taking two of them on was a bad idea. We're just I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to eat insects until I've recovered some health. Are they out here? They have gone. Let's not do that again. That was um, interesting, to say the least. Now, I've run out of insects, so I've either got to just eat the meat here. and That does actually regenerate us a little bit faster. I've got, uh, I've got the shredded roast there. I'll eat that as well. There's nasty things over there. There's something attacking those people, but it doesn't seem to be hurting the people very much. So I'll leave the people alone. And we're going to go down here, and we're going to attack that one. There, take that out. And 
Uh, well, I didn't expect that to happen. Right, that Zamorian fighter is nearly dead, so I'll take him down, and then I'll take that thing. No, 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 go away, go away. That thing was about to explode. Okay, I'm not quite sure why it explodes, but um, it does. That's all we need to know. You have got me a stone maul and some wood, which is good. And then I'm going to use this one, and I might be able to get some bone or something off of you. What have I got? i got lots of human flesh, which I don't really want. It's not useful. I've got some eggs here. I get five eggs every time, which means if I can go and find a nest, I'll be able to get a load of um, feathers. That would actually be very, very cool if I could go and get some feathers. There, eggs. That's going to let me regenerate. And I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to run in, and I'm going to attack that guy right there. And I'm hoping that I can take him down fast. Go on. Take him down. Take him down. He, he's not fighting back very much, but he's only like a level one. I don't remember what the other guy's level was. And now, what do we got on you? You don't have anything, so we want to go three, and then I can harvest. Have I got anything I can get? I've just got human flesh. I don't want human flesh. Hide's there. I got some. And then you, you should get me bone and hide and some savory flesh, which is good. And then you there, I've got some feral flesh from that one. Over here, we've got another corpse. What is it? I've got a volatile gland. You have no idea what that is or what it's used for, but I'm assuming it's good. I'm assuming it's a good thing. And I already harvested the, the creature I killed up here, didn't I? No, I didn't. Down there. Get that one as well. So there's, I got some. I did get some timber as well because I hit the tree. We've got quite a lot of useful stuff. I got tar. I got loads of hides. I got stone maul right there. So that one there, low grade sunder. Durability 60. Ah, here we go. Health damage 16. Armor penetration 24%. And my one, health damage 12, 16%. Uh, durability 93. Low grade shield smash. Sunder, 16 health damage, 24%. 16, okay, so this stone maul is better. That's a nice upgrade. A little bit of an upgrade there. So the stone club here, that one, I can drop an info and repair. I can't, like, dismantle it to use for parts, which is a little bit disappointing because the one thing, I, one thing I quite like with a survival game is the ability to be able to do just that, to, like, dismantle things and then use them elsewhere. Because it sort of feels more like a, a survival thing. You know, if you're able to, like, reuse items over and over, it does feel a bit more survivalish, doesn't it? Does that make any sense to you? I hope it does, because it makes sense to me. Now, we will keep eating and we will keep regenerating. I can get rid of that one for a minute. To get feathers so that we can make some arrows and then we can shoot these people over there in the middle from a bit of a distance. We're going to need to do something different, but I'd like to be able to get armor first. Now, um... Oh, equip a piece of light armor. That's the first thing we need to do. Light armor, light armor. Is that, um, what I've got here? Royal. Oh, that's, that's, that's all the royal stuff. We don't want that. Uh, no, I need to go into here for light armor, heavy... Light chest padding. Light boots. There. Which means I need light boot lining. I've got medium boot lining there. Uh, light gauntlets. Where's where's the light? I need, I need light. It might help if I just type light in up here. There we go. So, a uh, light boot lining. I need... Ooh. 20 hides. There we go. I can now go light boot lining. I've got enough twine. Craft one. Craft two. And then I'm going to want light boots. And then I can craft that one, which is another 10 hides on top of the lining. And then I'll be able to do it. So let's just wait for this one to craft. I'm glad I've... Uh, crafting speed is times two. Although I don't know if crafting speed on the tables is times two. There are our two light boot linings. So then I can go to light boots and I can craft those. Which means we'll be able to equip a piece of light armor. Now a skinning knife. I need to be able to use a skinning knife. So we go to attributes and we have uh, movement penalty 10. Why have I got movement penalty? Excuse me. Uh, I don't know why I've got a move. Uh, encumbrance, 62 out of uh, 62.5. So encumbrance right there. The first one, balance again. You deal 10% extra melee damage while over encumbered, but swing using 10% less stamina when not over encumbered. Ah, sure footed, crippling effects are less severe. Pack mule, your max carry weight is increased by 10%. 
Deflection, you have a chance to ignore armor and shield durability loss when hit. Momentum, when over encumbered, you can move at full speed. That's all the way up there. Um, I don't know how many points you got to put into it to get all the way up there. And then strength, this is every blow you strike with a blunted weapon deals 100% more concussive damage. Strength determines the damage you do in melee. And then agility, ability to move. Uh, vital accuracy, that is the bows. Uh, sprinting drains less stamina. I'm guessing strength, vitality. So we hit more. We have a bigger health pool. Accuracy for the bow. Grit. Encumbrance for carrying more, which is really important because we're solo play. Um, ability to live in harsh conditions affects how easily you metabolize food. Harvest resource nodes twice as fast. Every animal harvested provides uh, antidote of one in vulnerability to poisons and diseases. Uh, all direct. Okay. I don't know if that increases the amount of regeneration we get per piece of food. If it doesn't, I'm thinking encumbrance. Uh, you lose 10% less stamina whenever you climb. That would be a good one to get. Uh, additional 10% stamina per regeneration tick. Um, hmm. Not sure about that, but definitely encumbrance, accuracy, vitality, and strength. Uh, I'm not sure about the others. Now, a skinning knife. I want a skinning knife. So we want to go construction, decoration, probably under survival, isn't it? So look there, journeyman, butcher. What's that? Iron skinning knife. I've got a legendary butcher. A butcher. Iron cleave. This, this allows me to... Ah. Okay. So I definitely want that one. Master butcher. Yeah, that, that allows me an uh, iron skinning knife, but it does Yeah, so you don't get a stone skinning knife by the look of it, you get an iron skinning knife. And uh, because if I look in at uh, weapons, no, that's just in weapons. Construction, nope. Cornerstones, nope. Skirmisher, bruiser. There. Stone maul, handcrafted. A crude two handed stone hammer. Stone pikes. Yeah, right, okay. We'll we, we leave that lot. And we want to go in here. We've got our light boots. This is the important bit. There we go. And there. So we've got uh, armor. Low grade. Light bonus encumbrance. Weight 1.5. Uh, armor value 3. Equip. Nice. Right. Block and attack. Scout a Dafari camp is our next thing. I don't know where the Dafari is. Maybe the Darfari is the one that were attacking us. I'm, I'm not sure. So we're going to need to find a, a camp. And we'll, we also want to do that. But I gained a level, so I may be able to get some more useful stuff from that as well. Attributes. We've got uh, unspent three points. Ooh. Okay. Strength. Right. I want to go. I definitely want to go vitality. And, and I've got two points left. So I definitely want to go encumbrance there. And then. Vitality, accuracy, grit, strong grip, uh, did size of stamina, pool. Hmm. Start costing more per point. That's, that's more difficult. All right, we'll go vitality again. Put another one in there. Now, feats. We've got four available. Survival. I wanted that one there. Uh, well, I got that. Cost three. It's already on. Oh, I know why. This one, level 15. And I'm level 13, so I can't get that one yet. We've got that one. This one here, bandages, level 25. Good gravy. Don't see the things. So, improved campfire. Large campfire for cooking and keeping warm. I think that's one that we want to get, really. We'll go for that one. So, we've got two points in there. And then the bonfire is next. We can make a large bonfire. That's two, but we need level 16 for that, so we can ignore it. Decoration, construction. Oh, armor. What do we got on here? We've got the Kitan armors there, which we can... Unlock at level 10 if we want to. Uh, we're level 13. Oh, I don't have the DLC, that's why. And avail uh, Oh, we need three to unlock that one. Well, I've already got that. Doesn't matter then. Savage Armors, that's level 20. Raiders is level 30. Weaver up there, I've already got. No, I got that one. And then Exile Epics. Okay, that's, that's big stuff. Apprentice Armorsmith. Alright, well, we'll leave those. Religions. We'll leave those. Decorations. I wasn't going to worry about decorations to start with. Survival here. I've got most of the stuff that I want with... Oh, hang on here. Ah. Right. A patch kit for repairing damaged armor. That's probably useful. Requires those three. 
simple weapon repair kit. We can, uh, the Thrall Taker, we've got that. And then you've got the Wheel of Pain there. It's level 30. Water Well. Ooh. Level 25. Hmm. Right, Apprentice Tinker is seeming like it's going to be the most useful. Or we go for this, the Apprentice Fence Maker. That, I think, might actually be better. Uh, struts, that takes two. Apprentice Roofer, Stair Maker. Let's go with Stair Maker. I'll knock that one. There we go. Okay, that's enough mess. Oh, hang on. Wasn't there one more that I need to look at? Uh, I did attributes. Stats. Ah, no, that just tells me what I've already got. Then like, I, don't, I don't get, like, bonuses. Okay. So I've got some boots on. I need to scout a Dafari camp and use a skinning knife. Well, we, we can't use a skinning knife yet. There is a camp over there. I'd kind of like to boost a few bits and pieces up before I go back over there to those people because there was two of them and I don't have a bow. So I want to get a bow. I have food. I have a full skin of water. So in order to get a bow, we need to go up. And the last time I seen a bow, a, a, any feathers in this game, was I was actually just messing around with the teleportation stuff. I, I teleported myself up on top of a cliff like that one up there. Now, the only problem with the cliffs is getting up them, right? It's easy enough to go, like, the, the first bits. But there's only so far you can climb before your energy runs out. And that's the bit that makes it difficult. It's the bit that makes it very difficult. You, you <laughs> press spacebar like that. And you start climbing. And now look at my stamina and how much it drops. And you cannot replenish stamina while you're climbing. Okay, you, you've got to replenish your stamina after you finish climbing. So unless you can climb the one, the, the bit that you're on in a single run, you fall off. And I literally just made that. There wasn't much in it. And your stamina replenishes like almost instantly. Which, um, I really like that bit. It's just the get, getting there in the first place. So, there's some cliffs up there. Let's have a look on the map. Where are we? We might be able to go up there. We'll have a look. I think that is going to be where we're going to find something useful. I'm going to keep eating these eggs that we've got. And I'm hoping that's going to help us. As Oh, there's a, there's a nest. That's the sort of thing we're after. There. Now I should... Yeah. Feather. And the great thing about this is that because we get plus five, we don't have to spend days and days and days hunting around for nests. We can just find one, and that has given us... How many? Where? Where's, where's the feathers? Where's it? 30 feathers right there. So then, if I go here, I've got bone arrows there. There's two bones and five plant fibers. I go here. I do need stones, and then I need a feather. And that gives me... I can't remember... I need stone and I need branches. Right. Well, let's do that a sec. Let's get some... There's some stone and branch. There. Right there. Pick that one up. There's there's five stone. And there's ten stone. There's some more. And another one. And another one right there. And then I need some branches. Now. Do I... I, I thought I had branches. Yeah, I got 52 branches on me. So then I can go to here. The flint head arrows right here. Craft that one. I think this gives me 10 arrows, not just one. So you get 10 arrows from this. Because 10 pieces of stone. This is the branch get like broken up. And then the feather, you just use little bits of it. So uh, 12 flint head arrows. I've now got 12. So there's my hunting bow. Which I'm going to take instead of the axe for a minute. I'm actually going to move the human flesh away from there. I don't need that. And then I'll put that one in there. And I'll move the stone pick over. The repair hammer. Uh, that can come off of there as well. So we've got, like, food. Feral flesh. Uh, savory flesh. Volatile gland. Low-grade ingredient. A bizarre gland that can be used to make explosives. Oh, that's what's causing them to explode. I get it. Right. Craft two. So that's all of the, the stone that I've got. So if I, um... Oops. If I do this... And I harvest a load of stone a minute. There. Like that, I've now got 100 stone on me, and I can then go back into here, and I can go here, flint head arrows, and I can craft 9 of them. That's going to give me 90 arrows, in theory. Ah, uh, there, 20 I've already got, and there's another 12, and then I can put them on there, like that. And you can see now we've got a little bit in behind. That's perfect. That's what we want. So, before to take that one off. Now we can go back over to those mean humans that were mean to us, and we can say hello to them. 
We can shake them by the hand and we can uh, congratulate them. So we found a nest. That... What's that noise? We can hear a thing. I'm guessing it's something to do with that up there. Look, all the way up there. We're going to go and investigate that later. We're not going to do it now. We're going to go and find those mean humans over there. And we're going to uh, have a little chat with them about uh, why they shouldn't be mean. And, and, and yeah, and, 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 and stuffs. Yeah. But I, I've got a feeling that this may not go quite as well as I'm hoping. Because one of them has got a bow as well. And because one of them has got a bow as well, it's, it, it might not be good. Um, I've got some hides. I haven't got lots of hides. Where, where else have I got hides? Have I got any more hides on me? We could set some more leather going. No. Alright. Well, first of all, let's go into here. We've got ten cooked meats, uh, ten meats there. We can swap those over. The grilled steaks can go there, one on top of the other. We've got the eggs there. They can stack up as well. We've got the feral flesh in there. That can start cooking. That is all fantastic stuff. And then we've got the feathers. We've got the plant fibers. I've got the coarse foot wraps right there. Equip more drop. Uh, no, we don't do anything with that. Gaseous orb. Now that one, I'm going to put there. And I'm hoping that I can use this to help in this combat that we're about to take part in. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to sneak over here. Sneaky, sneaky. <sighs> Climb up here. Like this. Now, where are those people gone? There they are. There we go. Right. Two. And... Now, the only problem with the bow is that this... You don't choose when it releases at the moment. Um, you can do a click like that, which is a straight release. But you can't do any other... There's no other way of doing it. And he's coming up. No, he's not. He's just standing there. Okay, well, in which case, I can just do this, and I can take him out. But yeah, the, they are changing the bow, the way that it works. They're going to allow you to um, press and hold the right button, and then choose when you release it, and give a slightly stronger one. At the moment, it doesn't work like that, and it's something that they are definitely working on. They've said a few times that that is something they're working on. Uh, we've got some more hide. I've got 79 human flesh I'm running around with. That's probably not a good thing to be running around with. We didn't need to use our gaseous orbs, and we didn't really take very much damage. So what have I done? Have I, have, is this a Defari camp? I don't think it is. I've got that. So there's a stick. This apparently is not a Defari camp. I don't know what the Defari camps look like. There's the person. So let me get my bow a minute, and... Uh, right, I want to. I want to. I want to use this. Nope, I missed. I missed level. Um, okay, they're not very good. Ah, I see. Right, poison. He does poison. There. All right. Let me go this way. Let me get him to run through said poison cloud. If I run down here, wow, that does a lot of damage. That does a... <laughs> Okay, that does a massive amount of damage. Those gaseous orbs. Look at that. That is fantastic. I want to be able to throw some fire at it. That would be very cool if I could throw fire at it. I can't, but um, it would be good. I'm quite glad I had both of these uh, on their own. Both of them on their own not, and not together. Okay, so I can't do anything more to explore this one. But I can eat some more eggs. Let's keep eating eggs and keep regenerating. And we'll have another little look around. We've got... Oh, there's a rabbit there. I wonder if I can get that rabbit. Let me... Actually, I haven't tried this one yet. Okay, this... this um, Not the easiest thing to go hunting with, is it? Let's try hunting then, shall we? Nope. Rabbits are fairly tame creatures around here. Got him! Right. Go for you. What do I get? I get some hides. I got 11 hides from that. That was that was actually quite surprising. And now, is there anything else that I can buy? There's more, there's more rabbits around here. We, we've got a lot more rabbits available. 
I'm going to keep eating eggs as we go. And I want to have a look around most carefully. Because I'm looking for a Dafari camp. And I've no idea what a Dafari... Ooh. What was that? Something broke there. But was that something to do with me? Something fall off the top there? Something moved. Here, look. I wonder if I can mine this. Nope. Okay, nothing doing there. So what? I, I, I don't know what that was about. There doesn't seem to be any sign of what might be a Defari camp. I, I don't know what this is. What have I got else? Uh, I don't see anything at all. I'm sure there is a Defari camp around here somewhere. I don't know what it looks like, though, and that's that's the bit that's making it more difficult. So maybe not on this island. I mean, this island, could we, we could make this island ours. This could be like our new home. Um... Um, no, I'm not sure about that. I quite like the idea. Of, I still like the idea of building it up there. But I think that place looks dangerous. I'm looking across the river there. And that's where I found one of those unfriendly chaps over there. And they, they chased me around. And they, they kept... It, it, the whole thing was unfriendly. Everything about them. What is that in there? Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh, it was like a giant snake or something. It, it really looks snake-like. And worrying. Nothing there. So where is... What is the Takari camp? Uh, I'll have to try and find out what this Dakari thing is and, and what it's all about. Wait. I heard something. I heard a hiss. There is a crocodile here somewhere. I recognize that. I've I've been attacked by crocodiles before when I was playing this game previously. Let's um let's have this one. Let's see how this mall fares against a crocodile. Where is it? Be nice if I could find it. <laughs> Climb up on here. Right, now, over there is another camp, but i got a feeling that's the same camp as the one that we've got. So that's not going to make much difference. Um, we need the night time to go through fairly quick now, so that I don't... I, I'm not out here in the open if this um, crocodilian chap turns up. The dawn has arrived. Takes forever for dawn to get here, doesn't it? Let's go under the water. Oh, ah! Okay, there's there's the, there's the crocodile. It's right there. He's not attacking me. Why is he not attacking me? Ah. Might be able to persuade him to attack me. I do that. He's just sitting there. Like some sort... Some kind of crocodilian-shaped lemon. I'm going to leave him alone. I think it's probably for the best. We ju we'll just leave him alone and we won't interfere with him. And then he won't interfere with us. So what's over here? Is this a person that's going to try to kill me? Or is this a person that's going to be friendly? What I'll do is I'm just going to swim slowly. Actually, I'm going to swim right to the middle because there's another bloke there off to the right. Okay, not so friendly. Let's, let's, let's go back again. I think you can... Can you swim? I don't think you can swim fast. No. But what I could do is I could do that. Nice! I hit him. He's not going to swim. Alright. Well, he's just going to stand there and I'm going to fill him full of arrows. I don't mind. See, arrows are wonderful. You don't have to get close to people, and you can still kill them. And oh, it, it, it wasn't it, supposed to be like this. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't, but it turned out that it was. Uh, now, where is he? Where is he? I need, I, I, I need, I need to find his remains now. Where is his remains? If I, ah, there he is, just over that side. Okay, if I, if I come out onto the ground right here. Uh, he doesn't look like he's got anything on him. But I can do that. And I get some more hides. Okay, that's good. We've got some hides. I now want the arrows. And is this a Dakari camp? This is not a Dakari camp. Okay. Once again, we are disappointed. But there was a person heading over this way. And I'm guessing he's going to be a bit upset that I've just slaughtered his mate. So um, we'll we'll try and do this as well. Missed. 
missed. Ah, nice shot. I like that this is an auto aim as well. There's a, a Zambian. Auto aim is great. Sometimes. Like in um, World of Warcraft, it's, it's, it's great and all, but not for this. Okay, I want to see what this one's like. Oh! That is actually pretty cool. That is a very powerful weapon. That is awesome. Right, F to loot all, and then we just go number four and harvest the hides off of this one. There we go. We've got a load of hides. So we've now got uh, excessive amounts of flesh, which we don't want. And we've also got um, a load of hides as well. The hides are good. Those are ones that we do want. So we're going to go from here now, and we're going to head back over to our own house. It's actually about all we got time for, actually. So we're going to head back home, and we'll put the... Um, the hide's being turned into leather. That's going to be one of the first things that we want to do. And we're also going to be... Um, oh, this is just straight land all the way around. We've got nearly, we've got a bridge and it goes nearly all the way across. That's quite useful. Um, yeah, we also need to try and find where a Jafari camp might be. I'm not sure where we'd go about finding one of those. But there's got to be one somewhere. So we will keep an eye out for one of them. And then if we can find one, uh, I'll try and look it up, actually. Before next episode, I'll try and look it up. The skinning knife is something else that we want to make. And block and attack. We can't do that with the, the weapons that we've got. So we kind of need to make a shield to be able to do that. Uh, that shouldn't take too long. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.